Hi everybody, I wanted to jump back on here. I would love to show you a short video of the school, how it was founded, and some of the incredible arts programs that we offer for our community. Your donation will help us continue our mission, especially empowering the children of St. John through the arts. In 1970, a successful youth steel pan orchestra called Steel Unlimited was comprised of 28 St. Jonians. They were dubbed the pride and joy of St. John and performed at Shea Stadium, Lincoln Center, and Down Island, as well as recorded in Miami, Florida studios. With the late Rudy Wells as band director and the late Sis Frank manager, Steel Unlimited was a great success. And out of that success, St. John's School of the Arts was established in 1980, extending arts offerings in dance, theater, visual arts, and more music programming with SIS as executive director. In 1990, Still Unlimited II was established with tours to France, Denmark, New York, Germany, and Switzerland, and over 60 island performances per year. Today, St. John's School of the Arts provides after-school, in-school, and summer programs for children. One of the most beloved programs in St. John is Broadway Comes to St. John, which started in 2011. Professional actors come to St. John and rehearse all of the fourth graders and produce an amazing and an original Broadway-like musical. Years ago, one student came to us and said, I want to fail fourth grade so that he could come back and do Broadway Comes to St. John. Well, we don't advocate that. However, it does show the love that these children get from this endearing program. Programs for adults are also a huge part of the St. John's School of the Arts. We have had ballet, tap, painting, voice, piano, as well as other exercise classes within the school. St. John's School of the Arts has been fortunate to receive grants from the ASCAP Foundation for a songwriting program and Andrea Green's original musical program in the summers. Mid-Atlantic Arts Foundation has supported many concerts and this year is no exception. For decades, the Virgin Islands Council on the Arts and the National Endowment for the Arts have been providing support to the school, especially last year during this pandemic. We couldn't have kept our free programs for children if we didn't have their support. The support of the Virgin Islands Lottery has also kept our doors open and programming going. Of course, I want to thank all of the individuals and businesses who support the concert series and many thanks to all of you who are watching tonight. Our Sis Frank concert series has been widely supported in the community. Bringing world-renowned musicians to St. John celebrates our sense of community and inspires our youth through school outreach programs. Sis started the series in the early 1990s, which ran about a decade, but ended due to a financial strain for the school. When Sis died in 2010, and as a tribute to her, St. John's School of the Arts brought back the series in 2013, naming the series in her honor. It has been a highly successful event every year.